of an infertility diagnosis due to premature ovarian failure. In last week's video, I talked about a clinical trial that I was involved in and some testing I got done for that. Today, I wanted to expand a bit more about that clinical trial. It's called the ROSE-1 clinical trial. It's led by Dr. Ayman Alhendi. Uh, it started out at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, so I just kind of want to do a TikTok explanation of what the trial is. So the doctor's goal is to um, treat premature ovarian failure with stem cell treatment. So the ROSE-1 would be to do a bone marrow aspiration of the patient, so my own bone marrow, and then um, a stem cell doctor would do his thing with the stem cells to um, then inject those stem cells from my body into the ovary. Um, they use the right ovary as the treatment and then the left as a control um, and to see if that could treat the premature ovarian failure. Failure. So the goal would be to resume um, normal hormone function and then to resume menstruation and then hopefully to get pregnant. So the trial is looking for women who have been affected by premature ovarian failure who are also trying to get pregnant because the, the main thing that they're trying to test for is to see if a uh, woman could get pregnant um, without any interventions um, and with their own eggs. So um, my husband found the trial online. Um, he read the article about Dr. El Hindi. He's done this procedure before. We, we ended up going to meet him as part of getting involved in the clinical trial and he's done the procedure before. He knows that um, the, the two women that he's completed the procedure on before have resumed um, normal hormone function and menstruation but he does not know if they've been able to get pregnant because um, he w wasn't following them for that long and then part of the clinical trial rules is that um, they're not legally allowed to reach out to those participants they would have to rely on the participants contacting them so um, I got involved in that trial I did most of the testing for it in fall of 2018 and um, continued to keep contact with them through um, 2019. And then the winter of 2019, Dr. Alhendi moved universities. So um, he was supposed to start his research at the University of Chicago, slightly different than the University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, he was supposed to start there in March, and obviously March is when COVID really hit, and I, it does not seem like research has gotten back to normal for what they're trying to do. So it's really kind of on hold right now. Um, I'm still super interested in it, but obviously if you've watched other videos in this channel, you know that I'm pursuing the donor egg IVF to get pregnant, but um, I'd still totally be open to participating in the trial. I check their website every once in a while. It says it's still an active trial um, and there's three participants noted but it says that they're not recruiting and I know that they're not active. Um, I haven't been contacted by anybody from the University of Chicago. I've talked to the woman who was coordinating the trial over at the University of Illinois. She says she doesn't know much about the status right now just that it's on hold. Um, but I'm super excited for what could happen. It's just really cool that there, uh, that there's research being done on it. Dr. El Hindi um, seems like a great doctor, a great guy. Um, I met him. He's awesome, and he's not only researching premature ovarian failure, which is obviously cool to me. Um, but truth is, premature ovarian failure doesn't affect that many people. But he's done research on other stuff that does affect a lot of people like uterine fibroids and endometriosis, which um, are both extremely painful conditions from what I've heard, but also have a negative impact on fertility. So I'm really glad that there's doctors like him that are doing research um, to help women uh, in general and then also help with fertility to help minimize the amount of people who are 
affected by infertility. Um, I'll definitely update on this channel if I get any updates regarding the clinical trial. If anyone watching this uh, is suspected by premature ovarian failure, couldn't it hurt to reach out to the trial? I'll link the clinical trials website uh, in the description. Um, also, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Um, just very cool to have the opportunity to be involved in research or keep track of the research even if you don't want to be involved. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.